that really sparked the interest thinking back on the whole thing is that um I always have the feeling that, you know, it's a oneness. Okay, my my, my, my grandparents are from here. Yes. So, you know, it, it it didn't feel any different. My father lived most of his life here. So, you know, it wasn't anything strange for me to feel like this is just a part of us. And a lot of Jamaicans feel the same way because we have relatives here and we have grandparents here and, and you know, in, in London as well. What really sparked the connection now is one day when I was actually speaking about Marcus Garvey yes. and Haile Selassie and and Prince Emmanuel Charles Edwards. And then somebody in the discussion said, I'm sorry, I can't leave out no good You know, but at that time, I wasn't knowledgeable of who Noble Drew was. You know, so the name rang a bell right there. And then another day now, I was just surfing the net and looking at some, some things and some quotes, quotes, some court proceedings. And I saw this one um, titled, Moors in Court. How does it relate to me? And, and relating to me, how does it relate to my people? So to Jamaican people, which is a shame, you know. So um, I've been, I've been you know, on, on, on the whole science and realizing that the whole continental Americas, North and South, and then also being informed of the adjoining islands, which yes. is a part of the whole. Yeah. You know, because yes, I'm just thinking North America, South America, Latin America, but then the term, the adjoining island, you know, that made the thing more, it more solidify the unity of the whole thing. You know, that there's also a term like that, that includes us as part of the mainland and as part of the whole people who no, are yeah. here, uh, who have always been here. Right. How oh, devastating this is going to be to this whole system when all of my people realize that this is how it is, this is how it actually should be, this is how it has been before, you know, you were deceived. You know, yeah. so how do we get it back in the proper standing? You know, how do we get it right. back in the right way that people recognize that this is the way that we are educated to what is, up, is happening and respect our birthright, as you say. Right. Now, when we were all in school and when we were watching the cartoons and, you know, things of that nature to teach us about what a pirate was, they always would show us, you know, Billy the Kid or Captain Kid and, um, you know, uh, Captain yeah. Hook. Henry Ma, and these, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Caucasian uh, pirates and things of that nature basically commandeering the seven seas. Now, the right. research that I did, it verified some of those stories but what it did is it also put into the picture and and gave me a clearer sense of the involvement of people that look like us who were basically known as the corsairs that would be another name for pirates and privateers which were like mercenaries that were working for different uh you know countries now what they don't give to us like we were speaking about earlier about the Americas being our land and the approach that one would take when he wants to do the history, the research about when did it stop becoming our land, I would suggest that, you know, one would study the wars and the, the Reconquista. And that was the war. It was a 500 war that took a 500 year war that took place in Europe between the Moors and the Christian powers, which included Spain, Portugal, uh, the Dutch, and other individuals who came under the umbrella of Christianity, which was known as Christian Dome. And they defeated yeah. the Moors in Al-Andalus Al 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 in the year 1492, which coincidentally was the same year that Columbus sailed forth yeah, into Lord, the Americas. The yeah. Yeah. There's just a continuation so, of the conquest from the eastern side. It's a, exactly. In this part of the land that the Moors had in the western hemisphere. 
Exactly. Now, the Americas were our paradise. When when you go into Columbus Journal, he also he referred to the Americas as the Garden of Eden. Okay? He, he, he referred to it as the historical Garden of Eden. So the same way that we might go to Jamaica now to get married by the waterfalls, you know, or to, you know, go on vacation and just get away from the states. Some we might go to Panama, we might go to uh, Dominican Republic and things of that nature. It was almost the same situation prior to the conquest. We were sending our families, we were sending our wives to the Americas because this was known as a paradise. This was known as a place where you know, the, the fruits were, were, were growing in, in, in large amounts, large quantities. We actually lived in what, what is known as abundance, where the waters, where milk and honey were flowing in the rivers, where even Columbus, when you read the journals, he said that the, the Caribs, the Indians, the quote-unquote misnomered Indians, brought plates of gold to them when they, when they arrived, you know, yeah. just, just as a gesture of kindness. They were bringing them humongous gold nuggets. So when they returned to the um, to Europe to show King Ferdinand, Queen Isabella, and the other monarchs that this these lands were rich in gold and other um, natural resources that Europe yeah, is not that. privy to. Yes, okay. spices which were very um, which was spices such as salt, pepper, paprika, and all of these other demand. spices. Oh, they were in high right. demand. That, yeah. Um, gold, of course, silver, and all of these other things. These, 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 these natural resources. These were, these were like the cream of the crop, the cherry on the top. So, what you have in history is hundreds upon hundreds of years, starting from the 1500s up into the 1800s, of the excavation of natural resources, gold, and things of that nature from the Americas into the lands of Europe. Now, the way that we retaliated as the Moors and the Corsairs and the Ottoman Empire and things of that nature, we took up piracy of the seven seas. So we actually right. took the war to the seas because we were intercepting their ships. And we were intercepting, you know, all of the, the, the so-called um, expedition ships that were coming from Europe that were trying to invade the land. Yeah. Okay, so that's where the story of Pirates of the Caribbean has a little bit of validity to it because it shows that we were basically, you know, uh, uh, and when you watch the movie, they were going against the crown. They were going against what is known as the Christian Dome powers, which were Britain, uh, Spaniards, Spain, French, and things of that nature. Now, when I did my research, I came upon what is known as Port Royal. Right. Now, Port Royal was known as an enclave. It was known as a spot where a lot of the pirates, the quote-unquote pirates, basically brought a lot of their treasures to bury them. It was a base. They, yeah, yeah, it was the base. It was the launching port. It was actually the hub where a lot the of the, the uh, yeah, a lot of the pirates would meet up, um, plan some of their attacks, which was the of the, the, you know, when, when they get back to the ship or whatever, they were also bringing captives there. A lot of people don't know that white, Caucasian, European slavery was almost as large as what we know as African slavery during those times. There's books that are written right. about it. They were they right. were paying ransom to basically um, get their people uh, get from out of yeah, to get them back. Yeah. They were paying ransom to get them out of bondage and things of that nature. We would utilize them as bargaining tools. You would see that nowadays and in modern day times with the Somalian pirates and other people that are capturing Europeans, Italians, uh, French, um, you know, right there off the coast, the uh, the Horn of Africa and things of that nature. But this is a practice that took place hundreds of years prior to that. And for the family who uh, witnessed what happened in the conflict in Libya with the brother Muammar Gaddafi in 2011, Libya, remember they had a march into Tripoli. Now, if anybody is familiar with the Marines, the Marines has a song yeah. that talks about from the shores of Montezuma oh, to the halls of Tripoli. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the first war, and this could be everything that I'm saying could be verified 
through the medium of Google and Wikipedia and things of that nature. You know, everything everything can be researched. Um, when you get into um, the, the, the first war, that what we know now as the United States of America, the first war on paper that they ever fought is known as the Barbary Wars. It's Barbary Wars I and Barbary Wars II. This is a war that took place in Tripoli, the same place that they marched into to execute Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. The Barbary powers were Algiers, Tunisia, and Tripoli, and they basically used to work under the Ottoman Empire. For, for, um, for individuals who remember in history class, Ottoman Empire is the people during World War One. Those are your, that that's the antagonists in World War One that basically was um, responsible for that whole conflict right there. But that, that's Moorish history. That's something that they will not tell you. That's something that we're telling you that we you know that the family we we had to teach ourselves about that. So Port Royal was destroyed by an earthquake in I believe in the 1600s. 1692. Thank you, brother. Definitely. Yeah. 1692. And subsequently, later on, there were other things such as fires and things of that nature, which, to my understanding, Kingston now became the the, um, the capital as a result. Yeah. You know what I'm From saying? From Spanish so, stone. It was originally Spanish stone, and then it moved over to Kingston. Exactly. So then, yeah. so then and, and I always stress to people, when you research your Moorish history, Leave those pilgrims that they they gave you the blind when they hit you with the pilgrims and the in the in the um you know and the uh, Protestants and things of that nature. Study Spain, study Portuguese, study French and Dutch because those when when they gave us the story about the pilgrims were all nice with the little house on the prairie and whatnot. At the same time, if you buy that story, at the same time, the Spaniards. And the Dutch and things of that nature were over here committing genocide on a scale never seen before in mankind. Right. To the point where you had other Europeans declaring war on them because of their savagery. So when you see places such as Spanish Town, you have to remember also that we were also considered Spanish because the Moors were the ones who went into Europe during the Dark Ages and taught these different tribes. You know what I'm saying? We taught them languages such as Latin, such as Spanish, such as French, the Franks and whatnot. We were teaching them their languages. So we were also known as the Spanish. The same way that we're known as the Arabs and things of that nature, the Arabians. The uh, you know, but people denote Spanish and Arabia to what they think is a phenotype, the way a person looks, and that ne- you know, that that's necessarily does that's not the case. So right. when you go into Jamaica, you have Spanish Town, you got Westmoreland, you know what I'm saying? You have all of these these places that are very interesting when you begin to do the research. They never really West taught me about Town. Port Royal. Hmm? Okay. Well, more town and places like that. And what is interesting? Yeah, yeah. Like that, what is interesting about Port Royal right now in 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 connection with the whole the whole thing is that at one point. They, they, they said that the, the whole landmass of the world was one. Yeah, so sure. a lot of the things that the people find confusing and conflicting still in their comfort and in their comfort zone, they don't want to step out of that to, to explore whether what they have been living is a lie and what they are hearing now is the real truth that they should discover more about. You know, they rather to stay comfortable and, and, and discourage you from even going forward. You know? I even try to bring it down when you try to tell them that look, this is a possibility and, and history and, and, and books are there to show that there's a paper trail to prove this. And in natural life certain things just don't sit right with you. And if you check it out and investigate in it, you will see that this is not the way all things were said to be. Even even as far as law and constitution is concerned, I know it it, it, it affects us today. You know, a lot of people are, are very afraid to really open their eyes to the to, to the real truth, uh, to even try to unlearn what they know to be wrong. Take for instance, even religion. 
and we're not going into religion, but a, a, a simple example is that I grew up in Jamaica with my, my, my mom's taking me to church every Sunday. And my there was a rough and, and taking me to church every Sunday and, and going to church and seeing the same image of 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 whiteness. Yes. Without being racial, uh, without being prejudiced. But that whole image of whiteness that, that was dominant. You know, and then coming up and growing up well, and, and, and learning now about Marcus Garvey and learning about Rastafari and learning about yourself you now and, and, and seeing things from your spectacles as Marcus put it. It was kinda hard to even bring it to to a elder to your mother because she gonna run you and said, Move with the stupidness I you know, some people are gonna look down on you and say, Dutty Rasta boy, you are get mad or something because you mm-hmm. bring a black image of Christ which in reality and in reasoning and in logic, if it's coming from that at that, that certain time, it must be of the shit. The conquest that took place right. after the Reconquista, after the falling of the empire in Europe. Right. Because, you know, we were in Europe. Those castles that are in Europe, those those cities in Spain, I'm not sure if you have visited there yet on your on your travels and your tours, but yeah. those those cathedrals and things of that nature that were in Spain were actually yeah. built and put together by Africans. Right. So the images of the Christos and other people inside of the bi- the biblical story were of all, you know, it wasn't what we see nowadays. No. As a result of the conquest and what is known as the Inquisition, because what the Inquisition did is similar to what Nazi Germany did on on a campaign that they went to destroy all of the monuments and all of the uh, the edifices and and you know all of the remnants of the historical morgues. Anybody where you approach ya, nobody can anybody can touch ya, and them will turn you in a dinner for the vulture, vulture. Ultra, so make sure to your security are ultra. Who you not check and suspect of them are out here. That's how they live in when you're in a shot of culture. Culture, culture. I know the man in my feel look for life different. He never see the bullet coming from a distance. And when he touch him, blood are running at an instant. Instant, in a instant. He never even see a which part it come from. A riff a cop a la tip a riff a dum dum. A riff a win a riff a big a riff a jan jan. But a no jan jan, that a the wrong man. He never remember when him this the little infant. Who in the kick up and the empty out a drink fan. I never know said that the youth a lock a six fan. No the six fan, he is a rich fan. So you fit penny everybody where you approach ya. Yeah. No one you die, anybody can touch ya. Yeah. And then we turn you in a dinner for the vulture. Vulture, vulture. So make sure so your security are ultra. Who you not check and suspect of them are out ya. Yeah. That's how they live in when you're in a shot of culture. Culture, culture. Be so much data him about people head. Can't believe to know a film blood a shed. Hear him about to reach hospital bed. Think him a dead. Sweet to him a head. Him just a member say I got a him friend. Hear him a beg him to forgive all him sin. How when him granny used to tell him him a man. Him used to bed. He's up on a bed. I remember how him used to brag all life sweet. How no much money him have and how much girl he meet. Bullet screech, he eat him food, him couldn't sleep. All the while the same cycle, I repeat, so you better penny everybody where you approach, ya. No one yet, anybody can touch, ya. And then we turn you in a dinner for the vulture, vulture, vulture. So make sure to your security are ultra. Who you not check and suspect of them are out, ya. That's how they live in when you're in a shot of culture, culture.
the other day when the other situation with 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 daughters. With daughters, exactly. Right? We have a situation with daughters the other day recently, and in the whole situation, the prime minister, in an attempt to save himself, started saying mm-hmm. things that if the people were listening, they would realize that there is some big trickery going on, and the people are being held in the dark because in his attempt to shelter himself from from the U.S. government coming down on him. He started to declare that Dodos have his own sovereign rights, which he cannot violate. Yeah, yeah. bring him to justice, so he can come and send and sign extradition papers, and and Dodos and 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 violate Dodos' sovereign rights. Yes, nobody right. wasn't talking about sovereign rights before that. That case, we never know that an individual has yeah. the sovereign rights. And just because them 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 are trying to save themselves from the whole issue. That it come up, and then now further, when 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 they brought up this inquiry now, this commission of inquiry, and certain things why 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 the um why the move was being obstructed, we saw a lot of the the, the players, the the ministers, the lawyers, and all of them on TV claiming them 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 sovereign rights. To not answer certain questions and to not put mm-hmm. themselves under certain jurisdiction just the same, even though it was a commission of inquiry to, to, to find out who is responsible. People were, 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 were claiming immunity. So that means these rights do exist. And, and the, yes, the, do. The, the higher heads know of it. And they know that this is a game being played that they use whenever it's convenient to them to try and shelter themselves. But the people don't really look on that. You know, the people that look on that, you know, them want to send with others when they don't really realize that others never really are doing nothing wrong. Because when yeah, they the you know, situation go to break down the system and, and, and implement the new way forward that they want to forge and move mm-hmm. all of the influential people, all of the influential youth, so even youth like me and, 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 and five cartel and and bone tickle and elephant and more artist butcher himself, you find that we become targets of the system now and they they, they fabricate whatever it is they want. But us, I can tell you this, I'm not afraid I have shame to say this. Tivoli Garden where Dodos was was the most controlled community in the whole yeah. entire island of Jamaica. Island. The most disciplined the community. The most crime free yeah. community. The whole of downtown Kingston, there was no disturbance. There was nothing that you could experience that you can't find a order to rectify it if it happened in that community. Right. right. So it was operating so the, the pretty image, much. The image that they bring up up here to y'all is not like that. <laughs>